him and his wife just had a new baby. So he's kind of doing that uh, thing, for, like, like obviously a little more important than this. Um, so yeah, so you got me tonight. Um, and like I said, this is the Brotherhood Sports Podcast. And uh, we're going to jump right in um, to talking, not take up too much of your time tonight. Um, before we kind of start into the question, the conversation, uh, just give me a little brief bio about yourself. Um, well, my name is Aisa Silva. Um, I'm originally from um, <clears throat> Sierra Vista, Arizona. Um, I've pretty much lived in Tucson my whole life. I did live in California for about five years. Okay. But once I obviously um, decided that I would be graduating early and everything, I moved back to Tucson, did that, and now I'm at the UV. Awesome. <clears throat> so we're going we're to start there where you kind of ended there. Um, so, yes, you're at Arizona now. Um, so kind of take us through your recruitment and what that was like and, and how you ended up. I mean, obviously you – talked about being from <clears throat> Arizona and everything. And um, so kind of what, what ultimately ended up making you choose to go to Arizona and then kind of how was that for you and your family and just that whole experience? Um, the recruiting process for me was definitely, I can wholeheartedly say like it was beyond stressful. <laughs> um, it definitely wasn't like what I was expected. You know, as a little girl, like, Oh, September 1st, like that's yeah. when it happens. But um I did get like a lot of feedback from a lot of different coaches and all that, but um, obviously I did get a call September first from Arizona. Things happened, you know. It was a little, little bit of a situation, but from there I kind of waited. Um, and during PGF, I got the call to come down for a visit. Um, talked about coming early and everything, right. and from there I kind of just. I, I knew I wanted to come home. You know, Arizona's always been my dream school, and I made the decision to come early. Awesome. And, yeah, it's, a, I mean, obviously great, um, great university, you know, definitely a lot of tradition there um, with sports and athletics and academics and all that. Um, beautiful campus, too. I've seen a ton of pictures there. I've been to Arizona once, not 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 really by there. Um, but, yeah, let's let's kind of talk about your kind of softball journey and kind of when for you – did you know that like this sport is something that you love and you want to do and you want to take that to the next level? Kind of when was that moment in your life where you kind of knew that? Um, I have always been around softball and baseball, you know, days after um, getting out of the hospital. You know, I was at the baseball fields watching my brother. So it's kind <laughs> of always been a part of my life. You know, my parents played baseball and softball. So when I got into little leagues and I, I started playing, made friends, I, I really enjoyed it, and then at the age of 10, you know, I started travel, was on my first club ball team, and from there, I just knew, like, I was going to keep going. Like, I always knew that it was the sport for me. Awesome. I, I love that, you know, just kind of always knowing. That's that's kind of I was. Like, I love all sports. We've had a bunch of different sports on here, but for me personally, basketball was kind of my first thing that I kind of first picked up, and it's kind of the same thing that I kind of always knew that that was going to be the thing, you know, that I did, like, from very young. So, yeah. So this next one, you may not even be able to describe the feeling you get, but if you can put it into words, kind of what feeling do you get when you step out on the field, you know, right before a game, you know, you're out there warming up and everything, you step on that dirt and that grass and you're just like, okay, it's time to go. Kind of what's that feeling like for you? Um, to me, I go head first. I'm, I'm in it to win it. You know, I'm there for my team. I'm, I'm doing everything that I can on the mound, off and on the mound, honestly. Like, whatever my role is, I'm there. Um, I'm a super competitive person, so always, you know, wanting to get that win and, you know, <laughs> doing whatever I can to get that win is just kind of the feeling that I get. Like, I'm there, and I kind of, you know, someone will ask me, like, oh, like, how was your game? I'll be like, I don't, I don't remember. I kind of, you know, I'm, I blacked out. Like, I'm in, like, <laughs> in that moment, and that's about it. Awesome. I love that. And I've actually heard that before from uh, like from players, you know, talking about um, just kind of like it's just kind of a blur sometimes. Like they're just they're so enthralled in it, that moment and everything. So that's really cool that you um, just have a moment like that. Um, so next, this is kind of an on the field question, too. Um, so before everything gets ramped up with the season, and everything um, and in and, and this offseason, have you been trying to like work on something like in particular, like maybe try to improve or maybe even add something to your game? Uh, yeah, definitely. Always trying to improve. Um, me and Coach T actually have been working in the bullpens, you know, keep my spin as tight as possible. We've okay. definitely been working a lot on my curveball. 
it's one of my money pitches and you know being able to just get it a little tighter at this caliber you know everybody is amazing in college level it's not just you know a few are really good they are <laughs> all all american so it really have to be like top tier to play at this level you know and kind of just having um a big presence when i'm on the mound okay. um, I do think that I have a pretty good presence. I've been told that I do. But, you know, kind of just being out there, it's a louder crowd. Um, and just kind of talking more to my teammates, you know, letting them know that I'm there. Like, I have their back. They have mine. Yeah. Kind of a little more of that communication. So we are all in the same. It's awesome. I, I love that. And I, I just – I like how you said that just too. Because I think, especially at your position, I think it's one of those that kind of – you can like kind of command like, you know, you know, everybody, you know, like even the crowd, like they're all kind of watching. I mean, obviously it's, you know, the team too, but like just waiting for that just to, to happen, you know? So I think that just being a pitcher at that level too, like in the pack 12 and everything. And I think that's just really something. And, and like, I mean, do you kind of handle, how do you kind of handle pressure by the way? Like, are you mentally like kind of handling it well lately? Or are you just kind of, some days it's kind of, uh, I don't know, but how do you kind of handle that? Um, I am really focused on my mental health, especially now. Um, I have had, you know, I feel like everybody has their ups and downs. Like they have yes, their days, yes. which I definitely have had already. <laughs> but, you know, with my, like, my coaches are unbelievably amazing. You know, they could see it right away and they, like, fixed the problem. Like they did all they could, which I am so thankful for. Um, I really, really preach on mental health for um, student athletes, especially. Yes. But personally, I kind of just have to like talk myself through it. Okay. And understand that like, obviously, no one's perfect, and there's a tomorrow, so I know that it, I can improve tomorrow. Awesome! I love that. Um, next, and this can obviously have um, your sport in it. Um, it can have to do with athletics, but this is just really who you are, really just person as a person you know like for you especially in your life right now this can be in your time right now or just all together like what are kind of three main things that like you kind of just stand on and you're those are really important to you yeah um I definitely have to start with my family my family is the most important to me you know I would not be the person I am or where I am today without them they've always been there for me ups and downs no matter my <laughs> <laughs> my attitude or whatever you know they're always there for me um but um definitely secondly I'd probably have to say softball obviously you know just working on my mental health and everything um and just staying like positive and being like emotionally okay with myself and yeah spread positively around um and third I would definitely have to say obviously being college now getting to the world series um I think it'd be a, amazing to get to the World Series, especially with this team. Um, for the short amount of time that I've been here, they have been beyond helpful, kind of just helping me adjust. I am the youngest. I'm 17 <laughs> in college, you know. Like, I just, I went right in, and they have been nothing but helpful to me for that. So I thank them for that, especially. Awesome. And, and you're, you're, you're right, like, especially just playing, I mean, with anything in life, but I think athletics in general, especially when you're playing at a high level, that will do some, you know, it's either going to be good or bad on your mental health, you know, and you're talking about how important it is. And I believe it's important too, like, because there's so many ups and downs, like it's just a roller coaster. like the season is so long, you mm -hmm. know, and you're just kind of having all these ups and downs. And luckily you have, you know, you know, family, teammates, coaches, everybody around you to kind of pick you up. Like you said, when, when you do have a bad day. So I love that you said that. Um, and this can be, you know, coaches that, that have kind of given you any advice or anybody really, but what's something lately that you've kind of gotten from somebody, like a little nugget from somebody or something that just kind of stuck with you? Um, honestly, the biggest nugget that has stuck with me um, came from a coach, actually, and it was during my recruiting process. Um, she told me, you know, I'd visit this college, and she had told me to wait. She told me to not rush the recruiting process, obviously, you know. A lot of things happened during COVID, affecting like the 2023 class. Yeah, all of that. Like it was, it was really difficult. So instead of you know kind of just rushing and you know, oh, here's an offer, like take it. She told me to wait, and like I was at her school, I could have taken an offer from her, but she said like take your time, don't 
rush. And to me, that stuck with me. And not only in the recruiting process, it kind of told, t- took a toll into, like, my life. Like, yes. don't rush. Take your time. It, when it comes, it comes. And when it comes, it's what needed to come. And I do – I have a lot of younger friends, obviously. So when it's time for their recruiting, I obviously give them that memo as well. Yeah, and I think um, I've actually been talking about just that part, last part you talked about a lot with people, um, especially people we've talked to, like just about, you know, like we had somebody talking about, you know, last uh, interview, like, you know, hey, being where you're, you know, make sure you are where your feet are planted, you know, like make sure you're there, like, because everything, and and I think that's great advice, especially from a coach that's trying to, you know, they could have got you or whatever, you know, and like saying, hey, you know, take your time because in our world today, I think everything is so rushed. We always want the next thing, and I, I think it's all. It, I think it's great to want to, you know, aspire to do everything and be great and for the future. But sometimes we forget the now, you know, like here and now. And so I think that's great advice. I love that. So last thing, um, you know, being like you talked about, you know, you're 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 still young there, and you're starting this journey in college and everything. Um, so how are you kind of handling, you know, your your sport, you know, the being a student athlete, the, the academic side of things. How are you kind of uh, managing all that stuff together? Um, it's definitely a lot easier to manage as a student athlete because I have so much help here. Um, I have I have tutors every week. Nice. Like I have um, assistants. We call it CATS is a um, academic building where we have all our tutoring and everything for student okay. athletes. Um, so helpful. It's where our study hall and everything is. It's There's just like – you cannot fail. <laughs> you, that is on you because there's so much help here that not only like do I, I get it from tutoring or anything, but I have my teammates, you know, I may have a class with them or they may have to had that class and, you know, they let me know. They're like, oh, this is what it is. But not only that is like I have to kind of take it on myself to with time management. Yeah. I am always doing something from morning till about five o'clock. <laughs> so I have that time of, okay, I have an hour in between my class and my practice. I'm going to go wait in the locker room and I'm going to go get my homework done during that hour that I won't have as much afterwards. And I can kind of, you know, relax and do all that. And I've had my coaches, I've already had a meeting with them. You know, they've helped me kind of more manage my time well. Because when I first came in, it wasn't the greatest (laughs) at it. (laughs) They have helped me so much more, especially – and I have people who are literally like, okay, what are your assignments this week? When are you going to get these done? And it's just, it is so helpful. Yeah, and I, I love that you said that too about like, hey, there's there's so much help here that like it, it's it's really on you if you fail. And I think that's so, that's been echoed from, I mean, whether it's been a senior we've talked to or freshmen starting out, like, is it, you know, in college, it's kind of like, it's on you to do this stuff because there are going to be your resources out there. There's going to be help, you know, especially as a student athlete, because they they know that there's so much going on. So I love that you said that. And, and you know, we've had time management talked about a lot on here. And most people kind of, you know, some people have said, like, man, I did this great. But most people have said what you said. Like, hey, at first, I absolutely was terrible at this. But yeah. you're just kind of like, I mean, if, especially if you're those, if you're that type of person that just wants to, you know, you want to work, you know, you want to, hey, I got to, I want to do something, I want to do this. And like you said, you're going from early in the morning until later at night, you know. So it is, you have to manage that time well. So so what's next? Um, when are you guys actually starting the season off? First game is this Thursday. We have, Uh-oh. Yep, we play Long Beach State at 6. Tickets are almost sold out. I do think Kendrea's Corner is still still not sold out yet, but we're hoping to get there. Awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's crazy. It's coming up a couple days. So, yeah, well, good luck with that. Um, we'll, we'll check back in with you during in and out the season. We've kind of gotten updates, like, from our basketball people because their season's kind of winding down. Yeah. Uh, we just got a bunch of updates from our basketball players that we've interviewed and uh, some coaches. Uh, so kind of softball, we know it's getting ramped up here. So maybe in the middle we'll check back in. Good luck with everything. I'm sure you're going to do well. Um, we'll be kind of watching from afar. So thank you so much for your time, and have a good night. Perfect. Thank you. You too. Thank you.